Uh, we're going to go 35-7 next. Uh, that's the, the narrow-belted pig here. Uh, pedigree would be uh, uh, spread the word, no intro. His mom would actually be a littermate sister to no stranger, and quite frankly, so I think from a pedigree standpoint, uh, one that offers uh, uh, some very intriguing pieces. And, uh, and when this pig uh, comes right at you, boy, the shape to his head and, and, and his chest uh, uh, is just simply would knock your socks off. I mean, if you don't like this one, uh, uh, when he comes right at you, we probably can't be friends because I think that's a that's an incredible view of that pig. And, and just to be candid, I think, uh, you know, it maybe needs to be managed just a little bit in terms of width behind. I, I think, though, if you keep that in check, uh, this guy's got uh, uh, some very far-reaching pieces. And uh, uh, we talked about some that maybe offer some boar potential. I think this is one that uh, elite show barrel or boar, whatever you want to do, uh, he's got the pedigree. He looks the part. Uh, I think one that offers some very, very intriguing pieces. It could be an outlier in, in several ways. Um, this this one's skull and jawline is is really impressive, and he's very heavy structured, and he's the right length of body. He's he's, uh, he's barrel or bore length of body, and it makes everything proportioned so well. It makes him blend uh, very, very well, and, and uh, he's got lots of muscle, but still I think handles it very adequately for his size. And again, feed that one right and, and kind of get him uh, to his end point uh, with the right feed bucket, and that one there is going to get in somebody's way throughout the summer. That one is 35-7.